Alexa. What do you know about me? I know you ask some interesting questions. My name is Irina Shklovsky. I'm an associate professor at the ITU and I study ethics and the Internet of Things. This little hockey puck thing is the Amazon Echo device, which houses the digital assistant that we call Alexa. Alexa responds to your requests and provides information. This is also what we call an Internet of Things device, which is basically a physical object that is connected to the Internet. In essence, these devices are designed to help us and make living lives easier, more convenient. There's a bit of trouble, though. In order to function, these devices have to collect data. If it's a thermostat, it knows when you are in the house and when you're not. It also knows when you're asleep. It knows many things about you. And that's perhaps not a bad thing, because it can then act on this data. But the question is, who else gets to know these data? And the problem is that Internet of Things devices are eminently hackable. We're not quite yet at a point where we have figured out the security issues, and we've also figured out what's OK and not OK to do with the data these devices collect. So while it's really exciting to have a talking Barbie um, to give to your child that also can connect to the internet with the Barbie being able to answer the questions the child might have, it might be actually dangerous to have that device in the house. I think these devices are exciting, but you have to be careful how to use them and what you use them for. Just plugging them into your home network is perhaps not the best idea in the world because plugging those devices in makes you a little bit more vulnerable. I actually don't believe that individuals should be expected to read all of the terms of service and think deeply about security for the devices that they purchase. I think in many ways that's the responsibility of the people that create devices to think about the security and to make sure that the way data are treated is fair and doesn't take advantage of, of the users. But we are at a point right now where figuring out what's okay and not okay to do with the data these devices collect is something that we need to talk about. So we need to have these conversations at different levels, among engineers, among users, at the government level, because sure, Amazon would really, really like to know everything you eat, the music you listen to, the questions you ask, but what does it do with the data? I think that's a legitimate question that we should be asking.